going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and welcome to Accelerated Motion. In today's video, we're going to be installing a stage one speaker upgrade from Bob Sound on my 2013 BMW E92 M3. If you guys have been following along, Bob Sound is now a sponsor of the Accelerated Motion YouTube channel. So huge shout out to them for sending over some products for me to do some DIY videos on. So, uh, so far we've done an unboxing video. I talked about all the products that they sent over. And then we did a second video where we installed a Revenant amplifier in the back of the car, which made a huge difference. So super excited to get the speakers on this car. And then additionally, there's gonna be a follow-up video where we're installing some ghost subwoofers underneath the seats. So let's get onto this install. The stage one speaker upgrade that we're gonna be doing today is a little bit more involved than the amplifier install, mostly because we need to remove more interior panels. So we have four speakers that we'll be installing for the mid-range. It's gonna be one in each door, two in the rear, and then we also have two tweeters to install. So six total in today's video. All right, so we've got four mid-range speakers here as well as two tweeters. I uh, just wanna show you guys what this looks like again. So here's what it looks like. Really high quality stuff, looks super, super nice. Should be a quick and easy install. These are OEM connections, so everything should plug right in. Plug and play solution. And it also comes with a little gasket here um, that we can utilize as well. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna be starting here on the driver's side door panel. And what we need to do first is remove this trim piece here. You just gotta be real careful. Mine is custom carbon fiber, so you need to be extremely careful. Get yourself some trim tools and uh, you'll just use your fingers as well. But we're gonna start here in the corner. Um, I'm gonna use the tool a little bit just to kind of pry this up. Just to get it going first, just like that. And then I'm gonna use my fingers and go all the way across. Just gotta be real careful. You don't wanna flex this stuff too much, especially with this being carbon. Um, so that all came out. If for some reason these little, um, these little pins come out or they get stuck here in the door, you can just pull them out. The next step is to remove these four T20 Torx bolts. So get yourself an extension as well. Okay, now that we've got those four Torx, Torx bolts out, we can go ahead and start removing the door panel. I'm gonna start up here in this area here. And I'm gonna take a trim tool, kind of wedge it in here just to get it started. There we go, I'm gonna pop that clip. And then we're just gonna use our fingers and kind of go around the entire thing. And then just pull lightly. All the way down here on the bottom, there's a bunch of clips. Just pull gently all the way up. Just like that. And now what we need to do is we're gonna kind of lift this off the bracket up here. So this is all just kind of hanging. Just like that, kind of pops off. You can see there's clips here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. They're just compression fitted, so you gotta, gotta muscle it off a little bit. All right, so on the back side of the door panel, you can see we've got some things to unplug. Try not to put too much stress on these wires here, but uh, we're basically going to unplug this blue one here. So just grab it and kind of pull it out. Just like that. Same thing with this blue one here. Down here, there is a compression clip. You just need to push in and slide out. I'll show you that in a second. Just like that. So here's what the clip looks like. This is how it was. Push this little button here and slide this at the same time and it'll push the clip out. So we release that. This one up here we can pull out. Let's see down here we can disconnect the light on the bottom. Kind of got to muscle that one out. Push the clip. So for this one, you can disconnect it from up here or on here on the actual door, which is gonna be a little bit easier, I think. Right here, all you need to do is kind of pull this out. Let's see the spot. And then, there you go. Now the entire door panel is free. Okay, so we've got the door panel off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the OEM tweeter. So this one's gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, we're basically going to grab it right here and kind of pull this way and up, kind of at the same time. So we're gonna get this a little bit loose first, just like that, and then we're gonna slide it up so it kind of comes out. And I'll show you why that happens, because 
basically there's a little notch here. This piece goes in here and slides down. So that's why we need to pull out and then push up to release this whole thing. So there's the tweeter there. Now we can go ahead and work on this. Just be careful when you're taking this out to not put any stress on the speaker um, mesh here because it will indent, leave an indentation. So now that we've got that out, we can go ahead and pull the foam off of here. It's just kind of compression fitted in here. So we're gonna move over that just like that. And from here, now we can remove the actual speaker itself. So there's a couple little tabs that we need to push in order to release this. One other thing to note here, there's a metal clip right here. This actually sits onto this plastic piece here. So what's gonna be easier is for us to actually remove this metal clip and put it back on here. That way when we go to reinstall, it'll slide right back in and compression fit. Here's the metal clip right here that we're gonna remove. Just easier to do this later on. So just gotta be careful. It's, let's see here. If you got a pick tool, it might be a little easier to do. I'm gonna use a couple different things here just to get this going. There we go. All right, so there's the metal clip. So just so we don't lose this, we're gonna go ahead and put this back on real quick. So again, it just slides on just like that. I'm gonna kind of squeeze this together, make it a little bit tighter. And then we're just gonna slide it on just like that. So now we can take this to the table and actually pull the speaker out. All right, so we've got the tweeter here. So the next part, we need to actually remove the speaker. So there's actually four clips that we need to kind of play around with. One here, one here, one here and one here. So you kind of need to prop this up a little bit and kind of pull the speaker out at the same time. I'm gonna get a microfiber towel here just so I don't scratch anything up. So basically gonna prop this up a little bit and just gotta be careful, it's real brittle plastic. All right, so I kind of used the little pick tool here um, but basically you can kind of see where these clips are. There's one here, 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 and here. I kind of went around all four kind of simultaneously and they kind of, those clips kind of sit right here in these little spots. So you kind of got to break them loose all kind of at the same time. Uh, just got to be real careful because this is really brittle plastic. You don't want to break those off. But that's what the OEM tweeter looks like. Here is the new Bob Sound tweeter. Really nice looking. So this should pop right into place. It should just compression fit right in here. So uh, kind of doesn't really matter which direction it goes. I'm gonna point the wires back down this way. Just how it was before. It should clip right in. Let's see here. There you go, pops right into place. And again, just be careful with the mesh on the front. But that's basically what it looks like. And there's our wiring. All right, so now that we've got our tweeter in place, we can go ahead and put this foam back on. Again, this is just compression fitted in here, so just need to kind of finesse it in. Just like that. And then you wanna make sure that your wire is sticking out the bottom here and everything's back into place. So this one's good to go. So but let's move over to the door panel and remove that speaker. Okay, so now moving on to the door panel, you can see the OEM speaker right here. We're going to remove a couple Torx bolts. This is a T20, there's three of them here. So go ahead and remove those. And we're gonna retain these screws on the new speaker. So don't lose any of those. out just like that and we can swap the new one in okay so here's the new Bob sound versus the OEM they look very similar obviously you can tell the difference in the back side quite a substantial difference so the OEM one does have this um, gasket here that's stuck on the actual speaker so we're not using that we're using the new one that the, the speaker came with so just make sure you have that in place and uh, we can go ahead and Get this back on. So, make sure that doesn't fall off. Put it on just like that. 
And then we can put our screws back in. So we've got a lot of slack here, um, and I'm just gonna face it this way. But then put your speakers back, or your screws back in. Doesn't need to be crazy tight because it is plastic going into plastic, so let's keep that in mind. And I'm gonna tighten them down all kind of equally at the same time. Alright. Okay, so we can go ahead and reinstall the tweeter now. We've got our little metal bracket here ready to go. So again, we're gonna this is gonna go into here and we're gonna push in and slide down. So kind of gotta do this all at once. Get the bottom in first. Just like that, kind of push down and then push on. That sits just like that. And it's back in place. So our door panel is ready to go back on. We need to reconnect everything first, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So this guy slides on top of this, just like that, and then back into its little holder here. Alright, so we've got that back into place, and then we can go ahead and tuck this back in to its designated spots here. Okay, so now we can plug the light back in. All these clips go in one direction, so pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully you guys can see that. Put that guy in. Clip this back in here, just like that. Now we can go ahead and plug these speakers in. So um, the tweeter here and this black wire will connect. It only goes in one direction here. Just like that, clips into place and it should snap in. And then the green one connects to the OEM blue. Should snap right into place just like that. So those two are good. Um, and we can plug this back in. Again, it should clip into place. There we go. Make sure it's clipped in all the way. And then the final one here is gonna be this top one. Okay, we've got everything plugged back in. Everything's in place, so now we can go ahead and put this door panel back on. Make sure you've got your door locking mechanism through the, through the panel, door panel. Okay, and then put everything kind of in place here. And then you want to push this on, just like that. I'm gonna get this on in place here. So we can go ahead and click in the entire door panel here with all these clips. So just go around and tap it in. Right back into place. So at this point, we've got the door panel all back into place. Um, I went ahead and turned on the car just to make sure that the locking mechanism still works, uh, the door handle still works, the windows work and all this works. The speakers both turn on, so we're good to go there. So I just wanted to do that before I go ahead and put everything back on and realize that something's not connected. Uh, also, the light down here is good, so we're ready to put this back on. So go ahead and take your T20 and start screwing these back in. And then put your trim piece back on. And then we'll go ahead and put our carbon trim back on here. Line up all your holes and then one down. All right guys, so the driver's side front is now done. The passenger side front is gonna be the exact same process. I'm gonna break the rear speakers into another video just because I think that's gonna be another long one. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns on the front, please let me know. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.